It has a younger working population. It has fewer retirees than the typical province. And people in Alberta make more money. They're higher wage earners than in the rest of the country. So if you're a higher wage earner, you pay more contributions than a lower wage earner. You also get, at the end of the day, a higher pension, right? It's a question of timing. Contributions today, higher pension tomorrow. If you're younger and you have fewer retirees, then you're, again, paying more in contributions because you have more active, young working people and you have fewer older people drawing a benefit. So, you know, when you when you look, you take a moment in time snapshot, what you see is a higher wage population that's younger and that's therefore paying more contributions on average today. But tomorrow, when these folks retire, they will get benefits on exactly the same scale as every other Canadian for those contributions. That's why you can't look at pensions at one moment in time, right? It's like looking at, uh, at an RSP of a 40-year-old and comparing it to a 70-year-old. So the 40-year-old the is contributing. Look how much I am contributing and how little I'm taking out. And look at the 70-year-old. Look how much I'm taking out and how little I'm putting in. Well, you know, that's kind of meaningless, right? You have to look at the life of the 40-year-old and the life of the 70-year-old. Just like in a pension plan, you have to look at the life of the plan. Yes, people contribute more when they're young. You have more young people, you have more contributions. But when those people get old, older and retire, they'll get more benefits.